Hey guys, I'm Nisha from nishahomey.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make raw mango squash or green mango squash. To make raw mango squash or green mango squash, I'm using three medium sized raw mangoes which weighs about 600 grams. Now I'm going to remove or peel the skin. Now slice the mangoes. Now add the chopped mangoes into a pan, add in 1 cup of water, switch on the flame and cover and cook the mangoes. Once it starts to boil, simmer the flame and cook for about 7 to 10 minutes with the lid on. To make the sugar syrup into a pan, I am adding in 900 grams of sugar. Into that add in 1 and 1 fourth cups of water. Now switch on the flame and bring this to a boil. It's about 10 minutes now. Let's check on the mangoes. The mangoes are nicely cooked. So I'm going to switch off the flame and allow this to cool down completely. And then I'm going to blend this. Meanwhile, the sugar solution has come to a boil. Now if there are any scum or dirt on top, just remove it from the top. Now simmer the sugar syrup for about 5 minutes. Now the mangoes have cooled down. I'm going to add this into a blender blend this on high speed for about a minute ok now the mangoes are nicely blended and pureed it's about 5 minutes now now I'm going to add in the pureed mango pulp raw mango pulp mix it well and let it simmer for about 2 minutes it's about 2 minutes now and I'm going to switch off the flame. Make sure that you have mixed the syrup very well and now I'm going to switch off the flame. And now I'm going to add in 2 large lemon. If you are using medium sized lemon, use 4 lemon. Now I'm removing the seeds. Now squeeze in the lemon into the raw mango squash. I have already switched off the flame. Now allow this to cool down completely. Okay, now this squash has cooled down and it has slightly thickened. Now I'm going to pour this into a bottle and keep it refrigerated. Since I'm not adding any preservatives, this squash has to be refrigerated and it will stay good for about two to three weeks. If you want to add preservative, you can add about three fourth teaspoon of KMS. And if you add preservative, the squash can be kept at room temperature for about 2 to 3 weeks. But I prefer not to add preservatives. You will get about 1.5 liters of squash with this recipe. After bottling the squash, I will be keeping the squash in the refrigerator. To make green mango juice from the squash, I am adding in some squash into a glass and fill it with water give it a stir with a spoon add some ice cubes green mango juice is ready to serve